It's known as the Disclosure Project. Dr. Stephen Greer is the director of the Disclosure Project. He's gathered 400 witnesses who say it's time for government secrecy to end. We can establish through this testimony that these objects of extraterrestrial origin have been tracked on radar going thousands of miles per hour. It's come to a critical point where the truth needs to be revealed to the people. They believe a congressional hearing is the only way to set the record straight. The Disclosure Project has its work cut out for it because as of right now, no congressional hearings are planned. For CBS 2 News Special Assignment, I'm Ken. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. Genesis 6 4, 8. The phrase, perfect in his generations, indicates that only Noah's family's bloodline alone, of all the families on earth, had not been corrupted by intermarriage with these demon seated creatures. Genesis 7 1. This is why he and his wife and sons, and their wives alone of all the people on earth, were spared from death in the flood. Now, these fallen angels, which kept not their first estate, and came down to earth, assumed physical bodies, and had sexual relations with mankind, have apparently been kept under spiritual lock and key since that time, isolated, as it were from the other fallen angels, which torment us today. He has reserved an everlasting chains, under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. Jude 1 6, 7 Now though the politics of USO, UFOs. Mexican Air Force pilots capturing on videotape what are said to be 11, count them 11, UFOs unidentified flying objects. They are officially that. 
Bright objects, some sharp points of light moving quickly across the sky. The tape called historic by some. Members of the Mexican Defense Department saying it's the first time UFOs have had the backing of any country's armed forces. Now, a group of activists calling on the United States government to end what it says is an embargo on the truth about extraterrestrial life. What is that thing on your screen? With us now from Washington is Stephen Bassett, founder and executive director of the Extraterrestrial Phenomena, uh, Phenomena Political Action Committee. Last time he was here, he was running for Congress, was un unsuccessful in that venture. But I will ask you today, sir, the Mexican government, the Mexican military says, hey, we took these pictures. These are UFOs. Um, what was that? Do you know? This is significant for two reasons, um, Shepard. Uh, one, this is released by, by the Defense Ministry of Mexico. This is a message being sent to the United States government that uh, Mexico and many other governments are losing patience with our government's intransigence in ending this embargo. Uh, other messages have been sent by France in uh, 1999 with the Cometa report and by the United Kingdom when they released a substantial number of documents regarding the Bentwaters case in 2000. Many countries know about the extraterrestrial presence, but they deferred to the United States with, uh, with regard to the timing of when disclosure would take place. But they're simply losing patience. How do we know this, by the way? Well, we know it by paying attention. I've been following this now for 10 years. We call it the politics of disclosure, the disclosure process. Hundreds of government witnesses in this country have come forward, uh, and other governments are putting pressure on our government. The media hasn't covered it thoroughly enough, Shepard. If it did, it would learn about some of the things I'm mentioning here, and also learn about thousands of other videos and photographs that have been taken over Mexico by Mexican citizens there's, since There's absolutely no question about that, and his number, thousands, is accurate since 1991. Thousands of pictures and videotapes of discs, but never anything like this taken by such sophisticated cameras on board military vehicles. Oh, there's been plenty of... But not, of, of, not as clear and widespread as this and government confirmed in this way. I'm just saying that these are unusual. In that oh, no, way. it's happened many times before, but this is the first time it's been released. Believe me, there is evidence like this in the archives of every major first world government in the country, but they release this publicly in a news conference uh, in Mexico City. That's the difference. Studies have been done that, quote, clearly indicate the likelihood of an extraterrestrial explanation. But there are people sitting out there, I'm hoping there are millions of people watching at the moment, who are saying, this is nutty. Why, you know, why, why do we even talk about such things? The polls show otherwise, Shepard. Uh, CNN, Time, Reuters polls, last 10 years, consistently. 50% of all Americans believe the extraterrestrial explanation accounts for these sightings. Up to as many as 90% of Americans believe the government is outright lying. Uh, the polls are unambiguous. Year after year, the same thing. In fact, if you could talk anonymously to people, even in Congress, probably 50% of members of Congress already confirmed, convinced that the extraterrestrial presence explains this phenomena. Disclosure is at hand. It is very close, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. All right. Well, there you have it. Very interesting. Thank you. We'll try to find out more about the lights, and uh, the next time there's a congressman around, I'll ask him. Probably not on the camera, but I'll ask him off the camera. So there's something to feed on. The Mexican Air Force has released a video that some of you are going to find difficult to believe. A journalist says it shows images of UFOs tracking a Mexican military plane. He says Mexico's defense secretary gave him the video, which was allegedly taken by the pilot during a patrol. The pilot says up to 16 lights were tracking his aircraft. The Mexican Defense Secretary says images like these have never been released to the public by the armed forces of any country. And they're saying science. Sometime during the time of the flood, 